Hi everyone, my name is Mary and welcome back to Queen Ink. Today, as you can see in front of me, is some thread and a needle. You also see the 5.5 millimeter hook. Today, I'm going to show you how to crochet a pocket for your dragonfly cardigan. And then I'm going to show you how to use thread and sew it onto your cardigan. The yarn that I'm going to be using today is going to be a white yarn, as you can see. And I have this stitch marker up here to let me know this is going to be the top of my pocket. So let me go grab some yarn and let's get started on crocheting the pocket. Okay, so a few things I would like to mention before we get started. As you can see in the middle, you have these little holes. These are going to be called fillet squares and we're going to be crocheting those and then I am also have some half double crochets on the side. We're going to be using half double crochet stitches and chain one stitches to do this pocket. Okay, so in order to start, let's put the pocket off to the side. We're going to make a slip knot. Okay, and we're just going to put it right on the crochet hook and I am going to do a foundation single crochet of 20 stitches and to do a foundation single crochet you just grab your working yarn make a chain grab your working yarn and make two chains in that second chain um, after the hook so this chain down here at the bottom you're gonna put your hook into the back bump grab your working yarn and pull up a loop grab your working yarn and pull through that loop once to make a chain grab your working yarn and pull through two to make a single crochet and you're going to go back into that chain grab your working yarn pull through grab your working yarn make a chain grab your working yarn and make a single crochet I'm going to make 20 of those and when I'm done I'll be right back I have made my 20 foundation single crochets. Now remember when you're doing the foundation single crochet you always work on the bottom. So we're going to flip our work up and then count the stitches on the top. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh. I made an extra one. So I made 21. So there's the 20. We're now going to chain one, turn our work, yarn over, go back into that first stitch, grab your working yarn, pull up a loop, grab your working yarn and pull through all three for a half double crochet. So we're just going to half double crochet all the way across to, we're going to half double crochet all the way across to the other side. So all the way to the end. I'll meet you back when I get here. Alrighty, so I have one more stitch before I reach the end. There we go. We're going to chain one and turn our work and we're going to do one more half double crochet. This is going to be row number three that we're on. So always remember that your foundation single crochet always counts as your first row and then once you start crocheting the next row that's your row number two. So I'll meet you back in just a few moments. Okay so I have two more stitches before I'm done with row number three. So there's one and right into this little side piece right there that's going to be the last one and that'll be number two. And that is row number three. Now we're going to be working on row number four. And row number four is going to consist of those uh, fillet squares. So in order to do that, we're going to do four half double crochets. So, excuse me. Yeah, four half double crochets. So double crochet, excuse me, half double crochet into the next four stitches. Three and this one will be number four. Now we're going to chart start the fillet squares. You're going to chain one, skip one, 
and double crochet into the next stitch. Chain 1, skip 1, double crochet into the next stitch. Excuse me, half double crochet into the next stitch. Chain 1, skip 1, half double crochet into the next stitch. I am going to do this all the way until I have 3 stitches left. I will be back once I get there. Okay, so I actually have 4 stitches before the end. I'm going to chain 1, skip 1, and double crochet into the next stitch. This half double crochet will be number 1, and the last 2 will be the 3 that we are looking for. I'm sorry if the sides are a little bit off where this one is four and this one is three. Um, kind of accidentally did that. I hope it's okay. Um, so now you're going to chain one for row number one, two, three, four. This is row number five. And you're going to now half double crochet into the next three stitches one, two, and three. Check and make sure you have the three stitches, which I do. Chain one. Now this can get a little funky. You're going to turn your work and skip this first stitch right here and go into the next one. And you're going to half double crochet into it. Instead of looking at it from the side, and going, oh, I don't know where to put my crochet hook. Turn your work toward you. And remember to chain one, skip one, half double crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, turn your work, skip this one right here, half double crochet into the next one. Chain one, skip one, half double crochet into the next stitch. Okay, and repeat that all the way until you get to right here. I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so I'm close to the end. Now this looks like you won't be skipping and chaining. You will actually. So I'm going to chain one, turn my work, skip this one, and half double crochet into the next one. From doing that, that'll give me three stitches. So all I'll have to do is, or excuse me, four stitches. So all I have to do is half double crochet into the next three stitches. Okay, there we go. Another thing you can do is put a stitch marker on one side of your work to let you know, okay, this is the four stitches where the stitch marker is, and where the stitch marker is not, this is going to be the three stitches. You can do something like that um, to help you try and figure out which one is four and which one is three. So, so that was row number five. You're going to repeat row number five all the way until you get to row number eight with the fillet squares. And if we put that aside for just one minute and we grab this one, you're going to count each of these squares. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I will meet you back at the top when I have reached row number eight and let you know what we're gonna do next. Okay, so I finally reached the eighth row, which is right here. And all I have to do is chain one, skip one, half double crochet into the next. Chain one, skip one, half double crochet into the next. And then I just have to half double crochet two more times.
One, two, and three, and four, excuse me. Three more times to make it four. So I have one, two, three, and I just need one more half double crochet. Okay, so that is it for the fillet squares. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to chain one and single crochet across the top. That's all we're going to do. And you're just going to grab your working yarn, two loops, grab your working yarn and pull through two. Single crochet all the way across to the end. And before you do that, I am going to show you how to single crochet into these fillet squares. Okay, so we just single crocheted right there into that stitch. You're going to go under, grab your working yarn and pull up a loop and single crochet. Then in this stitch right here, you're going to single crochet into that one. Then you're going to go under, grab your working yarn and single crochet. Turn your work towards you so you can see the stitch. That is the stitch right here that you're going to put your crochet hook into and make a single crochet. And then you're going to look at the spacing go underneath and single crochet. When you look at your stitches, you'll see you have one into a stitch and one going inside of the spacing. Go ahead and single crochet to the end, chain one, and single crochet back to this side. I will see you back on this side and we'll get started on the next item. Okay, so one more thing I forgot to mention. When you're getting closer to the end here, you're going to single crochet into that stitch, then go under and make a single crochet. Do not pull back and think this is a stitch right here. This is not a stitch, this is your chain one. So you're going to skip that and allow the single crochet to cover it and go into the next stitch for a single crochet. and then all the way to the end. And then all you do is you're going to chain one, turn your work, and single crochet all the way to the end. I'll see you back at the very end. Okay, so I have two more stitches until I reach the end. Now there's two options you can do here. You can fasten off and then you can just sew this onto your cardigan or what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue single crocheting all around the whole entire pocket. So I'm putting three single crochets into that same stitch right there and then I'm going to put a single crochet into every space that I can see within the pocket. So right there, right there, right there and right there. So I am going to single crochet all the way around the pocket and in each corner I'm going to put three single crochets, three single crochets, single crochet all the way back up to the top and once I reach up here I'm going to put two single crochets. I will meet you back over here when I'm done. Okay so I made it all the way around and I have about two more stitches I have to do, well, actually three, um, because in this space right here I'm going to put two single crochets to make it three in the corner. I'm going to go right into this top stitch, the first single crochet I made, and make a slip stitch. Grab your working yarn, pull up, and pull right through. And then I'm going to grab my scissors and I'm going to cut my yarn and wrap my yarn and pull right through. And there we go. The pocket is done. Now one more thing I would like to mention, you can make your pocket as long and as wide as you would like. Um, 
my cardigan, the cardigan that I'm making, which is the dragonfly, is not very long. And I'll show you here. So as you can see right here, it's not a very good picture. picture. Um, it's actually very short. And I put these stitch markers here to tell me where I'm going to be putting my cart, um, excuse me, my pocket. So when I put my pocket here, I'm going to stretch it out and I'll pull out a little bit. You can see this is where my pocket is going to go. Okay. And if you're wondering what these stitch markers are at the top, this is going to tell me do not um, sew up here. This is the pocket hole where I want to put my hands or I want to put my phone into. So the next thing I'm going to grab is going to be my thread and my needle and I'm going to teach you how to sew this. Okay, once you have determined where you're going to put your pocket on your cardigan, make sure you have a long piece of thread like I have here and I always double knot it so I always have double strings that way it's more secure. Okay, and in order to start sewing on your pocket, um, I would start, if you're wondering, I'm doing, I'm unbuttoning the, the cardigan. I think I'm going to start over here in this top corner. And I'm going to turn the cardigan so you can see it. Make sure you do not have pieces of your cardigan underneath such as right here, so make sure you have this one piece and not folded or else you're going to be sewing your pocket and the front of your cardigan to your back one. So we're going to start right here in the corner where this stitch marker is. I'm going to pull up my camera a little bit, okay? So I'm going to start right here. You can also get needles and you can pin your pocket to your cardigan. We're going to start in the top. These stitch markers up here are going to indicate do not sew here. So we want that open. Um, I'm really, I apologize for the snoring. My husband is taking a nap. Uh, I am recording in the bedroom. So we're going to put our needle through this first stitch right here. Um, here, I'll just zoom in a little bit so you can see it. So we're going to put it in this very stitch right here. And I'm going to try and go through the stitches behind the cardigan, if you can see that. So it's not actually behind behind it, if you can see that. Okay, so I'm going to try and go through the stitches. And I'm going to pull up my thread. And I have a very long one. Then I'm going to put my needle back through that hole, like this. And I'm going to start whip stitching all the way down to the next stitch marker which is this silver one okay so if you need to turn your cardigan so it's more comfortable for you I am going to turn it sorry I'll pull out so you can see so I have turned the cardigan and I have that stitch right there I'm going to grab my pocket and make sure it lines up to my other stitch marker. If I need to, I'm going to pull out the stitch marker like this and I'm going to stitch, kind of stitch marker it to the cardigan like this, as you can see, and that will hold it in place. You can get probably a lot of stitch markers and hold that in place. We are going to do a whip stitch and a whip stitch is very easy you just go into the stitches of the cardigan as many as you can pick up and go right into the next stitch like this make sure it doesn't go <laughs> over that okay and I like to hold my pocket Another thing you can do is you can go in this stitch, up through here, and around. So you can go in through here like this. Okay, if you really want to hide the thread. 
If you don't mind people seeing it, I'd say whip stitch it. It's not really going to matter much. And then I'm going to go back down through these stitches like this and go into this one right here. And just kind of pull on it a tad. I'm going to go up through this one. This is how you hide your thread into your cardigan. And nobody can see this unless they pull it apart and you see the little black thread right there, okay? So you're just going to go, for this one, I'm going to go down now into the next stitch right there, okay? And this is another form of whip stitching. And then I'm going to go up through the next stitch, picking up stitches. My thread on my cardigan is a little light, um, so it's a little difficult to try and pick up some stitches. Um, heavier yarn, um, like the pocket one that I'm using, is a little easier. And then I'm going to go back down through here. If you cannot remember which stitch you came in or out of, pull it apart and you'll see the little piece right here. You'll see that little black piece right there. That tells you when in this stitch and in this stitch. Now it's now you want to go in this stitch. Okay? And you might have a tad little bit of holes. Don't pull on it too tight. All we're doing is trying to just make it a little secure. You can go through a couple of stitches like this. Okay? So I am going to sew my pocket. When I'm done, I will meet you back at this stitch marker once I go all the way around. And I will show you what it looks like, okay? Okay, so I'm back, and um, one more thing I forgot to mention about the corners. Um, do not get too worried about them. You're just going to go into every single stitch. You're not going to add three or four stitches. You're just going to go into every single stitch. That is why I did a single crochet around the whole border, so that way I knew where my corners were. So as you can see, I'm reaching this wonderful corner right here, and I'm just going to go right into this stitch. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to go up like this, and then I'm going to come, I'm going to try and turn my cardigan. Uh, give me one second, I got, I got it caught on a button. Okay, so there's my corner, and then I'm just going to pick some stitches that are near the next stitch, which is right here. Doesn't matter where you put your thread into. And as you're sewing, don't pull on it too tight. Also, take your time. Go slow. Um, this can be a very tedious process, and your thread can also get very tingly and give you a bunch of knots. So you want to take this pretty slow and um, just kind of take your time making it look nice. So there we go. So just like that, if you want to hide your stitches, if not, um, you can just whip stitch it, which just means if I'm in this corner, I'm just going to go into these stitches and go up and over like this, okay? And I'll just do this as an example. And then you'll see these little stitches right here. If you like that, that's fine. Um, it's not really going to matter much. A lot of people really aren't going to see it or say anything about it. Um, so pretty much you're just going to go up and over and through the stitches as much as you can. And it's okay if you skip stitches or if you can't remember which two you have done. Like I said, just pull up the stitch to see the black uh, thread right there. And then go, okay, the next stitch over was the one I was supposed to do. Okay, so take your time and I will meet you back up in just a few moments. Okay, so I am actually almost done. This is my last stitch marker. And what I'm doing is I'm putting my finger inside of my cardigan so I can hold onto the pocket and start whoops, 
start finishing, start sewing and finishing up the last few stitches. Okay, so I'm just working my way slowly to the top. Okay, and I'm slowly kind of just pulling on it. And then finally I'm at this very, very last section. I am just going to put it into a couple of stitches like this because this is where I want to fasten off my work. So, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into that same stitch like this and I'm just going to pull up a loop. I'm going to put my needle back into that loop and then I'm going to grab this one right here and I'm going to pull on it. And that is my last loop and I'm going to put my needle right through it and just pull. Uh, sometimes you might have to pull down on this as well. Sometimes it just doesn't want to work with you. And you just pull on it like that. And there you go. Um, that is finished. Normally what I like to do is go into the stitches of the pocket like this and hide this thread just like this. Oop. Hide the thread like that. I like to grab my scissors if I can find them real quick and then I just kind of cut close to it and the pocket is done. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out real quick and I'm gonna show you. So there we go, it's open. You can put your hands in here. And if you're worried about anything poking through, I would not worry about it. That's why we did this bottom half double crochet right here. Um, so anything that you put into your pocket will go down here at the bottom. So that is how you sew on a pocket. I am grabbing these stitch markers because I'm going to show you really quickly how you actually put the stitch markers onto your cardigan and know how to do your pocket. Okay, so it'll be really quick. If you give me one second. Okay, here we go. So here is your cardigan. Here is your pocket. We have the stitch marker at the top to tell us this is the top. This will be, as you can see, where the dragonfly is. This is the top. So this way is the top. So you're going to put your pocket on like this. Kind of. Um, what you kind of want to do is you want to position it where you actually want it. If you want it near the border right here or if you want it closer to the back. I normally, excuse me, want my pocket closer to my border but also have a little bit of, as you can see, a little bit of an edge right there. So this is where my pocket is going to be. I'm going to take my first stitch marker and I am just going to grab onto that pocket and hold on to it. So I know this is one area. I'm going to grab another stitch marker and lift up my cardigan real quick and put my stitch marker right on there. And then I'm going to grab this stitch marker, put my finger into my cardigan like that Make sure not to poke myself and pull up just like that. Okay. And then do the same thing for the bottom. Grab the last stitch marker. Put my finger in here. Fingers at the top right there. Actually, we're going to go from the bottom right down here. And I'm going to put my stitch marker into my pocket first and then I'm going to put it into the cardigan and it doesn't really matter then I'm going to take a look at my pocket and see if that looks good and it does the next thing I'm going to do 
is pull out this stitch marker and put it behind like this. That is going to tell me this part at the very top should not be sewn. So if you liked this video, please leave me a like, drop me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more tutorials like this. So this is how you crochet a pocket and sew it on to your cardigan. Again, this was the Dragonfly Cardigan Part Number 5 Pockets. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.